Hello and welcome my dear students. Today we will start with our writing section and we are going to cover an important topic of writing skill that is notice writing. Okay, notice writing is very important topic. Today we will learn how to write notice and score full marks in it. So before understanding how to write a notice, you should know what a notice is. So let me tell you what is a notice. A notice is a piece of written or printed communication addressed to a particular group. It is a formal piece of communication. Uh, notice is always displayed on a notice board. So it may be in your school, in the college, or in any other institution so that large number of people can see it. While writing a notice, there are certain important points. So let us know what are the important points in notice writing. Before writing any notice, your notice should be enclosed in a rectangular box and you have to stay to the word limit. The word limit of notice writing is 50 words. So your notice should not exceed 50 words. Secondly, you have to be very precise in writing notice. You have to be very precise. Means you should not give any irrelevant information. The information given in the notice should be to the point should be precise. Whenever you write a notice in exam, you need to write it on a fresh page. So whenever you are going to write notice in your exam, you need to start notice on a fresh page. We cannot use first person pronouns. Do not use first person pronouns. Like I and we. Notice is always written in third person. It should be written in indirect speech. And passive voice. While writing notice, you have to use indirect speech and passive voice. Whenever the question comes for notice writing in exam, it carries 5 marks. It carries 5 marks. 2 marks for the 
the format and three marks for the content. So no, notice has a particular format and you have to use that particular format to write the notice. So if your format is correct, you can score two marks. Then three marks are for content and that content you need to write about any event, any program, any camp, whatever a question is given. According to that question, you have to elaborate it. Okay. In that, you should not make grammatical mistakes, avoid spelling mistakes and be to the point. You have to mention the date or day when that event is going to be held. You have to mention where that event will take place, that is the venue of the event. Also, you have to give the information about the event. Okay. Now, let us see the format of notice writing. notice you need to follow this format so the first is name of the organization after drawing a box you need to leave one line and then you have to write the name of the organization. Most of the time, the name of the organization issuing the notice is given in the question. If it is not given, then you can write any imaginary name of the organization or even you can write the name of your school. Okay. After that, you need to write the word notice. You need to write the word notice. Okay. After writing the word notice, you need to write date. So the third point is date. So how to write a date as we write while writing a letter. For example, now today is 29 June 2020. So date should be written in this manner. Okay. Date, name of the month and year. So this is the third point. After writing date, you need to write the topic. Topic in the sense regarding what you are going to write notice. Whether there is any health checkup camp or whether there is any competition or whether there is any uh, thing which is lost or which is found. So depending on the question you need to write the topic. After writing topic Next point is body of the notice. Now here you need to give the information regarding the event. That is what kind of event it is, when is it going to be held, where it is going to be held, who all can participate in that. So such type of information is given in the body of the notice. After writing the body of the notice, you have to write the 
signature. Signature in the sense you have to write the name. Most of the time, the name who is going to write the notice is given in the question. So you have to write that name. If it is not given, you can write your own name. Okay. So after writing name, you need to write designation. Designation should be written in bracket. Now what is designation? It is your position. Now who you are? That is also given in the question. So maybe you are the head boy of the school or maybe you are the head girl of the school or maybe you are the secretary or any other person. So that designation should come after the name. So after this again you have to leave a line and complete the box. So this is the format of notice writing. I have already provided you the sample notices. So you can go through it and you can see how to write a notice. So again I will explain you with the help of a box particularly where to write what. Okay. So first you need to draw a box. Okay. After that you need to write the name of the organization. Now suppose Rotary English Media School. So name of the organization should come in the center. Below that you need to write the word notice in capital letters. After name of the organization you need to write the word notice. After writing the word notice you need to write the date at the left hand side. Suppose 29 June 2020. After that, you need to write the topic. Now suppose your school is going to conduct a debate competition and you need to draft a notice for that. So your topic will be debate competition. That should also come in the center. After that, body of the notice. So body of the notice means when you are going to conduct the debate, Where you are going to conduct the debate? What will be the time for it? Who can participate in this debate competition? What will be the topics for the debate competition? So all these things you can mention in the body of the notice. After completing the body of the notice, you need to write your Name. Suppose X, Y, Z and then need to write the designation. Suppose head boy or head girl. Whatever designation will be given in the question. Most of the things which you need to write in the body are given in the question itself. So you can read the question carefully and you can pick out the important 
think and write down in the body so that you will avoid grammatical mistakes and also spelling mistakes and then you can score out of marks in notice writing now let us see which are trend topics that can be asked in notice writing so first is lost suppose you have lost something suppose you have lost your wrist watch or you have lost your compass box or you have lost your sports kit bag so for that purpose also you can write a notice and display it on the notice board second topic is found suppose you have found something and you don't know whom that thing belongs to so you can describe the thing and ask uh, whom the thing belongs to for that purpose also you can write the notice next is celebration now suppose there is any celebration whether it is Diwali celebration Diwali celebration or any other kind of celebration so that can be also displayed on the notice board next is audition audition for singing audition for dancing or any other kind of audition for that purpose also you can write a notice next is program if your school is going to conduct any program such as uh, annual social gathering or parents day grandparents day so that can be displayed on the Next is time change. If there is a change in the time of your schedule or of your school, that can be displayed on the notice board. Next is competition. You all know we have conducted different kinds of competitions, such as drawing competition, essay competition, or debate competition, right? So all these can be displayed on the notice board. Next is donation camp. So if uh, you are going to conduct suppose blood donation camp which we do most of the time. So for that purpose also we can display a notice. Next health checkup camp. If your organization is going to conduct a health checkup camp that can be displayed on the notice board or special announcement if an organization or institute has to announce something special if there is a special announcement uh, so for special announcements also it can be displayed on the notice board so these are the 10 topics on which notice can be asked in the exam so even if you know one example of each type, you can score good marks in this writing. Okay, now let us take a review what we have learned today. So, first of all, we have seen the definition of notice. Notice is a informal piece of written or printed communication which is displayed on a notice board so that a particular group can see it. Next we have discussed about the marking scheme for format to marks and contents the mark. In contents it includes grammatical mistakes, spelling mistakes, word limits, construction of the sentence. So all these things are included in the content. Then we have seen the format, how to write a notice. We have also seen the topics which can be included in notice writing. I hope you have understood how to write a notice. 
So that's it for today. Have a great day.